Hey guys, and welcome back to Hey Dad RC. You can see I got another unboxing to do for you today. It is the Helion Conquest 10 MT XB. It's a two wheel drive brushed monster truck ready to run. The name Helion, the name Conquest might be familiar if you've watched my channel at all. This is actually my second Helion uh, vehicle. It was probably around a year and a half ago or so. I picked up the Conquest uh, 10 scale brushed buggy and I had a blast with that thing. It was a lot of fun. I even put the brushless power to it. And like this one here, I spent the same amount, $99. And I think these cars usually go for $149 through Hobbytown. I happened to be cruising around on eBay last week and I saw through Hobbytown on eBay that they had the Conquest uh, short course truck, this monster truck, and their Truggy all on there for $99 ship. So I thought, for $99, a ready to run package. I had a whole lot of fun with that buggy. I figured we would bring another Conquest into the fold. This time though, a monster truck. I saved you the suspense, I already took it out of the box. And there it is. Like I said, it's a 10th scale, two wheel drive monster truck. And before we take a look at the truck, I'll show you what comes with it. Get the owner's manual doesn't feel uh, real thick. Uh, plastic T-wrench, a couple of extra shock spacers, antenna tube. Um, you know, that's about it for that. Battery you get with these vehicles is the uh, Helion 7.2 volt 6 cell 2000 milliamp hour nickel metal high drive battery with the Dean's connection or T-plug some people call them. You get your basic wall charger this thing charges at the rate of a half an amp so it's going to take you quite a while to charge that battery with this charger but I give helium props one good thing despite the fact the most ready to run chargers take for uh, take forever um, this one at least has an LED indicator light letting you know where you're at as far as charging your battery uh, a lot of times ready to run chargers now they don't have that so you're kind of in the dark a little bit about knowing when your battery is fully charged so it's nice that this one's got the indicator light. Transmitter, like came with the uh, buggy that I had, is the Iconic ET3, three channel, 2.4 gigahertz radio. Uh, it takes four AA batteries. Like I said, there is a third channel adjustability on this thing. Uh, you know, you've got uh, dual rates, throttle adjustments, etc. It's a good radio, fits well in the hand operates well. They put uh, a funky little blue fake brake disc inside the wheel. Nice little touch for aesthetic purposes. But a decent transmitter. Now on to the truck. Uh, all the versions, the buggy, the monster truck, the truggy, and uh, the short course truck, they all sit on the same chassis. So basically you're talking about a difference of body stylings, tires and wheels, and uh, although I haven't had one I'm sure the Sure, of course, truck has Nerf bars on the side too. But uh, again, this was $99 right now that I saw on eBay. So uh, we got to revisit this platform this time in monster truck form. Body looks good. Uh, also has a blue body, but if you get the one with the blue body, that means you're behind the brushless one. But uh, yeah, looks decent. Not too shabby. One thing I thought was a good touch, I don't know if they're doing this with a buggy as well now, but uh, you get a little over tray for your chassis to help keep debris and stuff out of the inside of the chassis. So I thought that was a nice deal too. Uh, ESC is a 40 amp ESC capable of running LiPo power, 2S LiPo power. There are two jumper pins allowing you to uh, disengage reverse if that's your thing, if you're racing, but don't see many people doing that with this. And a jumper for uh, switching between nickel metal hydride and light bulb battery modes. Steering servo on this is a six kilogram. I don't, uh, I had no problems with the stock servo and the buggy turning the wheels, but obviously you're gonna have a lot more weight with these tires and wheels on this thing. So we'll see uh, stock servo, how that performs. I might have to upgrade that, who knows? Maybe I won't have to. Tires themselves are the, uh, you know, standard monster truck Chevron type tires. There are no foams in them. Again, 
the two wheel monster trucking. I kind of like it without the foams anyways. Not much adjustability on this truck. Um, you have a couple of different mounting options for the front shocks on the top. Uh, in the back shocks, there are two mounting possibilities, both top and rear. Everything on the front end here is plastic captured links, so there's not going to be any adjustability as far as camber and toe angles. Um, but again, for me, a car that, uh, that costs this much, this is purely just a take it out and bash it kind of car. I don't personally for myself feel that I really need that kind of adjustability. Um, you now looking at the bumper on the front here, it's got this little loop which I think is going to help absorb impacts before the inertia of hitting something really gets to your chassis component. So I thought that was a pretty cool deal too. Uh, you can adjust the ride height of your body. Uh, on the shock towers here, front and rear, you can raise them or lower them depending on your taste. The shocks themselves are plastic body oil filled shocks, um, but they do have aluminum caps again for $99. I thought that that was a pretty good touch. Two spacers on each of the back shocks, none on the front, but uh, this thing feels on the back end a little bit under damped out of the box. So probably before I run it, I'm going to go ahead and check the shock oil, um, make sure that they're topped off in there. You can see the truck comes with a wheelie bar, and one thing that I like about this is that the wheels on the wheelie bar are coated in rubber. I thought that was a, a nice touch a lot of times with the uh, plastic wheels. If you're out running on pavement and you get some little bits of stone and gravel that you're running over, it can dig into the plastic, warp the plastic a bit. So when you're doing wheelies, it kind of gives it this effect. Uh, I'm thinking with the rubber ones, really shouldn't be that, uh, shouldn't be an issue too much with that. I'm not 100% positive, but I think the stock motor that comes in this truck is a 20 turn motor. Uh, again, with the buggy running 2S LiPo power, I thought that that was, uh, I thought it was pretty capable out of the box. With the, with the setup that was in here. Looking at the rear end, metal dog bones, metal drive cups. Again, for the price point, I think that's uh, pretty sweet. The only thing that I broke on the buggy, and when I did that, it was on brushless power, was I did break one of the plastic rear carriers, and uh, that was after a couple of particularly hard landings on the back end. But that was the only thing that I would ever broke on that car. and. Uh, Again, for the money that I paid for that, I, I was really ecstatic. Oh yeah, one other thing. I had this truck for almost a week now. I just haven't had time to get the unboxing done until now. But looking on the box, it had said full ball bearings throughout. Now the Conquest buggy that I had had oil light bushings. And uh, on the box, it said full ball bearings throughout. And it was pointed to the back tire. There are bushings on the front, they're not buried, so that, that could be a little misleading. And actually uh, on the rear end too, it looks like they're oil light bushings as well. So maybe they're talking about it inside the transmission, but you know, I, I don't mind much, but I think for other people, they probably could have been a little bit more clear. So that's my quick ish unboxing on the Helion Conquest 10 MT XB monster truck. Again, I've had this platform before, but there is still interest in those videos on the buggy that I've done. So I figured, again, for $99 right now, completely ready to run, minus your transmitter batteries, I figured I needed to delve once again into the Helion line of their Conquest chassis, albeit this time in monster truck form. Should be a whole lot of fun. I'll get charging up the nickel metal hydride battery. That'll be... The first run will be box stock with that stock battery and uh, I'll almost certainly jump to a 2S LiPo after that. But uh, hopefully I can get a first run in today. We'll see. I appreciate everybody taking a few moments out of their day to watch my videos. That means a lot to me. And if you've got any questions or comments, as always, I love hearing from you guys. So drop them down below in the comments section. And if this is your first time checking out my channel, uh, think about subscribing. Uh, I try to do a lot of good, interesting stuff. Sometimes I'm not always successful, but uh, we certainly always try and have fun. So again, I appreciate it, guys. Please like, comment, 
And once again, if you haven't, please think about subscribing. Till next time, everybody take care. Have a great day.